What's up everybody? OT for Tech here and today we're going to be taking a look at Google Glass. This is Google shot at wearable tech and it comes in the form of eyewear similar to reading glasses or sunglasses. It retails for over $1,500. I paid over $1,600 with this or for this particular device. It's the Explorer Edition in charcoal gray. It comes in also blue red I believe white charcoal gray and another off shade of gray and they are around sixteen hundred dollars with shipping and tax they're very pricey for the type of product this is but with this product it has swipe gesturing it has a built-in camera it is voice activated giving you the freedom to answer your calls send text messages with the display which is supposed to be measured of a 25 inch television screen stand tw uh, 10 feet away and that's about how big the display is and it's not a very clear display by any means but it's enough to pass by you know it, it gets you by using this product and it works quite well. Now inside the box you'll see Google Glass. Underneath the actual Google Glass you have a cloth bag. Inside that cloth bag is the earpiece that you plug into Google Glass and then it goes in your ear and it works just as your Bluetooth device. And it actually comes in handy considering the actual um, Google Glass does not have a built-in speaker so it's, it, it runs off of your jaw giving you the vibrations and sound through that and it's nowhere near loud enough so you do need that speaker. You also have some a pair of buds that go on your the bridge of your nose. They come in three different sizes. There's one already on Google Glass and then you have two more inside this box right here. And that is very handy and then you know lets you personalize it for a good fit. Now you also get the data cable which is very lengthy which is a plus because I, I do not like short data cables so that is excellent and you also get the charging brick that plugs into your wall and you also get a little bit more literature on Google Glass inside the box other than that it's just you know it's a very standard packaging it's very premium of course but this particular device does retail for around sixteen hundred dollars with tax and shipping it's very expensive but you know you you get what you pay for pretty much I think that this the price tag on this device is a little bit way too high you it is very innovative you know I do give Google a thumbs up because the innovation in this device is excellent but for $1,600, I was expecting a little more. And in order to get the full experience with Google Glass, you need an Android-powered device. iOS, you're unable to send text messages. You have to have the hotspot on. It cannot run on the internet connection on your phone without hotspot being enabled for iOS. But with Android, once you connect it to Bluetooth, it's good to go. You get directions. You, get, you can send text messages. You don't need the hotspot feature on. Also included in the packaging that they send Google Glass in is a pair of shades. And these are your standard sunglass shades, but they're not polarized by any means. So they're not like a pair of Oakleys are going to be. They're actually like a cheaper form of sunglass shades. And they're very bulky. And to me, they're very ugly. Um, they remind me of the sunglass lenses that you would see on your older people that go over your regular reading glass lens that you flip up. They're very bulky and very ugly. But what's nice about them, though, is they do not interfere with the screen whatsoever on Google Glass. And just to mention on the screen, if you want to know what the screen size is, it's about the size of a 25 inch TV. And if you stand 10 feet away from that, that's about what it is. And the idea is not to be right there in your eye. You look up. When you look up, that gives you the actual you know that that gives you the view of the glass so it's not in your eye all the time and just taking a look around Google Glass you can see where my fingers are at right now that's where you charge it that's the actual battery and the thicker part on the uh, this, that same side is the touchpad now Google Glass has three buttons you can see one of the silver buttons here as I zoom in that is for taking pictures and recording video if you just tap it it takes a picture if you hold it down it takes a video the standard time for video is 10 seconds but if you continue holding Holding it after you held it the first time just give it a little hold again it will continue recording video for as long as you want or until your Google Glass dies this is just a top view as you can see that little crystal area that is a screen and it does swivel um, front and back giving you a little bit of personalization so you can 
maneuver it around to the, get to the right angle that you need to see the actual screen. And here you can see there is a glass button and there is also a circular button. The circular button powers on and off the device and I believe the glass button helps you pair it to Bluetooth. And you can see on the other side there is absolutely nothing there. Now the camera is a 5 megapixel camera. It is nothing to write home about but it does take some decent shots. It is, like I said, nothing special whatsoever but, you know, it'll, it'll get you by for what it does. Now, I did take some sample shots, and I'll just let you go ahead and enjoy the sample shots now, and I will be back in a minute. And as you can see, it actually does form a good little uh, a tightness around your eyesight so you don't have to worry about it coming off. And this is the touchpad I was explaining to you about. You can also lock Google Glass with it by setting up a gesture. And there's a lot of nice gestures that come along with Google Glass, such as winking to take a picture. You know, you nod your head up and that turns on the device. And by putting on the glass themselves, we'll turn it on and then taking it off, we'll turn it off. And this is just a quick look around Google Glass. And as I said before, I have a problem with the price tag for this device considering the Samsung Galaxy Watch is only $299 and it can do a lot of the things that Google Glass can do. It just doesn't have the actual display on it. Well, it does have a display. It's just, it's not eyewear, it's a watch. So, you know, is it worth $1,600 in my opinion? No. But then again, this is the Explorer Edition. Battery life on this thing is not good at all. Do not expect to get through a full day with it while you're wearing it for the full day. So if you are looking at this device, I would suggest go ahead and wait for it to come out to the public and the price will be dropped and then you can enjoy it more. So again, guys, this is OT for Tech. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, there'll be more videos to come. Thank you guys for watching and I appreciate all your support.